What's up everybody, welcome back to the JRD Motorsports vlog. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for us. Make sure you like this video. Watch it, make sure you like it before you hit the like button. I'm not telling you what to do. Actually watch it, and I'm sure you'll like it. And then you'll hit the like button. Uh, today we are going to have some fun in the shop. We haven't done one of these shop videos in a little while. And uh, we are also going to give away a t-shirt. As promised, once we hit 350 subscribers, we're going to give away a t-shirt. I think we're almost at like 370 now. We're a little behind, but... Uh, Keep that going. We'll keep give, keep doing giveaways. We appreciate everybody's support. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give away a T-shirt in this video. And uh, there's something we we contemplated doing for a little while, and then Landon Huffman went ahead and did it. So he's broke the ice, and he recommended people do it. So we're gonna talk about the costs of racing and what it costs to go racing um, at, at our level. I can't speak for other people in, in the series, and I can't speak for uh, you know other series and stuff. So we race. A super stock at Delaware Speedway and all over Ontario. We have a unified rule book across the province. So today, uh, while we're working, we will we'll talk about what it costs to race one of these cars. I don't know what would it be comparable to, like down down in the states. Well, they got stuff. street stocks that they call them Thunder cars. I think these are a little more advanced than like a street stock. Yeah, they're well, they're closer up here to a limited late now. Yeah, like they're almost like what like a like a limited light used to be. Yeah, I, I, nobody. Will, if I'm trying to clarify that, I I could say that they're basically a cast car, but I don't think that'll mean much to. No. If I'm trying to clarify what they are, but well, how I don't how close are the late oh, model stocks? I don't know. Nah, well, nah, I don't know. Like late model stocks have like stock steering boxes and same style of rear end with with the overslung. I think it is underslung. <laughs> no overslung. Um, yeah, I, like, they're, they're a perimeter car, like a, like a late model, like a late model stock. Like, they're almost like a late model stock, I guess. I think a late model stock's a little more advanced in the suspension and stuff, and, and the engine department, obviously. Yeah. But, um, we're gonna say our cars, for anyone watching in the States or anything, we're gonna say our cars are kind of halfway between, like, a street stock and a late model stock. I think that's a fair, we're Canadian, what do you want? <laughs> um so we'll talk about that today so stick around t-shirt what does it cost to go racing and we're gonna have some fun in the shop we got a couple of new toys we're gonna play with today subscribe stick around make sure you like the video and then hit the like button for us what are you doing hmm? no. um well when you roll across the scales at the track daryl's got a uh tape line there i think that's where it is or is it here I think it's about the same. I think it's about the same. So they got a line on the uh, scale of the track where they want you to be so your tire's centered. So if you want to be prepared for when you're at the track, do it like you're at the track. Um, these are the new toys we were talking about. These are the new toys we were talking about. If you want to be good, we've been, you know, the last couple of days, I mean, we finished third on Canada Day, but I think we were still missing something. So um, the shop floor is super uneven and super not level especially after we just found out with proper leveling pads the other scales we had we couldn't do this with so we invested um so now we got the fancy setup just gotta get the roll off still but um this is gonna help this is gonna help us a lot you need proper racing scales to uh to run an operation um speaking of costs Let's, uh, we said we we're going to talk about costs. We'll talk about costs and what it costs to go super stock racing. And then, uh, we'll give away a t-shirt. And, um, we're going to get the car on scales tonight and see if we can learn a little bit. And we got a few new things we're going to try for this Friday. We got people from Douglas Window and Door coming out to the track to support us. Uh, what's it, a week tomorrow? How bad's my hair? It's bad. I need a haircut. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we got lots of people from Douglas coming out to support us on uh, July 29th. So we got to make sure the car's dialed in. So we've invested a little bit. You should only have to buy scales once. These are our second set of scales. But anyways, costs of racing. Where do we start, Jamie? Let's start with the most expensive part of asphalt racing. The car? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> We're not going to factor the startup cost of racing. I mean, to get a trailer and, you know, your fire suit and all that stuff, I mean, not even a factor in the cost of a car. Well, you got to have... Just to get to the track, you gotta have a truck trailer. to pull it. Yeah, truck to pull it. You gotta have a trailer. Yeah. And you gotta have something to put in it. Yeah. So there's your three big costs right out, tools. right out of the way. Tools. Tools, stuff like that. Your, yeah. 
even just say you have a truck, you're tens of thousands just to start. So you can get, I mean, you can have an open trailer and stuff. There, there's cheaper ways of doing it. Some of the best drivers, Lane Zardo, comes to the track on an open trailer. Trailers don't win races. Um, but you still got to have a trailer. It's still, still money. have a trailer and, of sorts and stuff. Yeah. So there is that cost. We're not going to get into that. I mean, there is a, there's obviously a startup cost. You have to buy a race car. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, there's used equipment out for sale all the time. You can buy a super stock anywhere from, I don't know, what's a good one now? You can buy a good one anywhere from, I'm going to say around 30 to 30 to 40 for a good used one. I've heard some of the new ones come out of shops that are 100, so. Yeah, I don't know about that high, but <laughs> I'm sure they're pushing it. But, yeah, it, it, racing's as expensive as you want to make it. So, a good used one, I'd say you can spend 30, 40 grand on a good, like a really good competitive potential yeah. race winning used car. Or I'm sure a brand new ones anywhere from 60 to 100, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been fortunate enough yet to yeah, I don't think we're gonna find ask it. that question. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's those initial startup costs with racing. Um, and then, what am I saying? Are we giving away secrets? No, these are junk tires. Um, speaking of tires, there's my segue. The most expensive part of asphalt racing, tires. Dirt racers, this is where you wanna fast forward because you'll laugh at us. I, so we, this is with a tire budget, like a tire limit. Delaware has strict tire limits. We're allowed six tires opening night. And then at week four for the rest of the season, you can have one new tire a week. You can, you can not put one on week four and save them for week five. You can do it like whatever. You're allowed to add a new tire. Doesn't mean you have to put them on the car. So what's that equate to 12, 13 tires, 13, 14, I don't remember. Around, around that. Yeah. And then the Quick Quick series, thankfully this year they got a little more strict on the tires, which I think it was because of the tire shortage, but I'm all for leaving it, even if there was no tire shortage. We're allowed 12 tires for the five races, and the track actually, or the, the series will buy us two in the end. So we're only paying for 10. So in total. It also didn't factor that we need four for that we, special, but the track the is going to buy us two. Us two. Yeah. By the time it's all said and done, we're buying 28 tires this year. Good number. Good number. That's 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 maximizing the tire rule. I'm just gonna be straightforward. We maximize the tire rule. Whatever we're allowed to buy, we buy. I don't think we're alone. I don't think we're alone. No. <laughs> that's if you want to be fast, tires are it is what it is. Twenty eight tires. So tires are almost two hundred and fifty bucks a piece now. And that's not strapping practice tires on. No, we guys a, do that. I'll be straightforward and honest. Us as a race team. We've been racing for like five years now. This is our second full-time year in a super stock. Technically third year because we bought the car halfway through COVID. Not once have we ever put a set of stickers on for practice. for As a, as a practice set. We've put them on for scuffs. But we have never put a set of practice tires on the car that are stickers with the intention of that is a practice set. Yeah. The budget doesn't, you know. I, I also personally don't see the point. But that's, that's a whole other argument for another day. We're talking costs. So 28 tires. Um, around 250 bucks a piece, give or take. It's gone up a little bit this year. You're about $7,000 in tires for the season to run a super stock. And that's with us racing full-time weekly at Delaware Speedway and for us to run a five-race provincial touring series. Ouch. What's that, 17 races we're running? 16. 16. 16 races, $7,000 in tires. And that's with tire limits. I thank the tracks for putting tire limits in place. I mean, you have to put tires on these things. It's not like you can run, you know, 800 laps on a set of tires. I mean, I'm sure guys do, but, but that's with the tracks putting tire limits in the rules. So that's tires. That's most expensive cost in racing. What's next? Um, well, I've got all your wearable parts. Let's go fluids. Fluids, yeah. So oil, we do oil changes every three or four races, depending on if there's a 50 lapper in there. We, we have a set number of laps we like to do oil changes. So every three or four races, we're doing an oil change. We use Lucas Oil, Racing Engine Oil. Um, and then uh, gear oil, transmission fluid, you're changing all that stuff. The, tra the gear oil, you don't have to change as often. You can probably reuse it. But we change gear so often because we're going on tour, the way the schedule falls, we end up changing it a lot. Because I don't, I don't love pulling it out and then putting it back in. We've done it. I just... Well, we're changing it minimum four times. Minimum four. I think we end up changing it six or seven this year. Yeah. Just six, maybe six. So in, in fluids and consumables, just to do it at that rate for 16-race schedule, we're about 
twenty five hundred bucks, just just in fluids. Um, also, before we continue, this is not meant to be like, hey, look how much money we can spend. That's not the whole point of this. We've been asked numerous times to do a video like this. We really hoot and hot, and we didn't. I didn't love the idea, but then when Landon Huffman did it, and people really responded well to it. Well, we've been thinking about it. We've You've been, been saying it for it weeks, for, and then somebody stopped you at the track last week and said, hey. And they were, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mind-boggled. Like, how much does an engine cost? How much does this cost? Well, off topic, but I can tell you, last year when we blew an engine, we were on 602 crate engines. They're like six or $7,000 for a crate engine in these things now. Yeah. Um, let's have a different background for the second half of our what does it cost to be stupid. I mean, go racing. Um... What's next? Uh, well, you got to get to the track and you got to put fuel in the car. Yeah, so. fuel. The fuel's not as bad. We run just pump 94. I, we don't buy, like, you know, VP or anything fancy like that. I don't see the point. These motors aren't meant for it. I'm not knocking anybody who does it. I mean, you do you. If you get, if you're beaten because of that, then I'm stupid. That's just what we run. We run pump 94. So you got to put fuel, you got to put fuel in the truck. You gotta put fuel in a race car. What we were talking before we started this. What did we say we are for fuel? A night? No, like just total for the year for sixteen races. I think we we're almost twenty five hundred bucks for the year. So you're almost twenty five because uh, again, two the races. You know, thankfully the gas has come down a bit. But when we went up to when we went up to Peterborough, we were like two hundred fifty bucks just to get there and back, and just to, just a truck. Yeah. Which. Well, that was over two bucks a liter at that yeah. point. It's we've, down a little bit. We've made our choices. This is not this is not a complaining video. We're just being completely transparent about what it costs to go super stock racing. Um what else did we say there's Well you gotta pay to get into each track. Yeah. Yeah. So we're Delaware charges thirty bucks or maybe thirty five or forty for a big show. And then a lot of other tracks are charging forty or forty five bucks to get in back eight. Um so what's I don't that's you're you're like three four hundred bucks a guy or for the team for a night. Yeah. So over the course of a season, you're I'm trying to think we 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 had a number before we started. Um, it was just over five hundred bucks a guy for the year. Yeah, you're you're about five six hundred bucks per person to get in the back gate for the season. So multiply that by how many group people you have. Yeah. Our cost we figured was about thirty five hundred bucks. Yeah, we're, we're three to four thousand just yeah. for just for back gate for the year. Yeah. Um, so those are some of the bigger costs, um, consumables, I mean, you, you know, your brake pads, your brake rotors, all that kind of stuff, you know, bearings, grease for the, well, was, like I said, a lot of all our fluids, but. Yeah, but three to four hundred bucks a corner every change. Yeah, you're probably three, four hundred bucks minimum per corner on the car for the year for, for consumables and wear and tear and stuff. Yeah. Um, I think that's a safe number. So just call it another fifteen hundred, two thousand bucks for, for uh, consumables per corner, and then uh, that's just you can budget that stuff. You can kind of say, okay, that's that's what it's going to cost. The the unknown part of racing is when you hit something, or something goes boom, like our motor did last. Year. Well, no, it didn't go boom. The motor, the, we ended up buying new motors because we're stupid. But um, <laughs> there's the inevitable. What happens when you wreck? And we racked a couple weeks ago. We had a pretty good lick right into the back of a wreck. And that was a good, I don't know the exact number. It, we, it was a good three or $4,000 wreck. And it wasn't bad. And it wasn't that bad. It's just what bent and where it bent. So, you know, you do a couple of those, you're, you're easily five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. You can go, you can go a whole season without wreck. And that's just an unknown. That's the part that we don't like. I mean, it's kind of hard to budget for that. You have to kind of all allocate, you know, we're going to assume you wreck something. I think that's safe. You're going to wreck. Even if there's a stack up and you wreck a bumper bar, right? Yeah, your bumper bar and your hood pin bar and stuff, a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. So some of that stuff's inevitable. But, um, yeah, I don't, I didn't add all that up in my head. This between seventeen and $18,000 for... Just just uh, just round up for damage. You're you're twenty to twenty five thousand dollars a year to run at this level properly and competitively. And I'd say we're fairly conservative with what we spend. I would say we're a mid level spending team. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fair. 
I, I, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. I don't know what other people spend. It's none of my business. No, but I believe there's guys who spend more. There would have to be guys who spend more. There would have to be guys who spend less. Yeah. Guys or girls, depending on where you're raised. Yeah. Guys and girls are probably twenty, twenty-five thousand 25,000 to run a super stock competitively in Ontario. Yeah. You say that's fair? That's fair. And so, we couldn't do it without our help. No. <laughs> no. We could, I, We would not. I probably wouldn't race period without the, the amazing partners we have. You know, we have a very long list of partners. They're very generous and they allow us to do this. Um... I, I can't thank everyone on the car enough and the, you know the crew helps and just everyone for what they that's a that's a big bill mm-hmm. you know i i would like to say it's a hobby but it's pretty much a second job i mean you do we can go do something else i feel like i'm rambling a bit we can come we can go do something else and come back and we can talk about prize money because you do you do win some back yeah absolutely i don't know it's at this point i think we've brought back like Maybe a couple thousand. <laughs> yeah, it does not equal the bill. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the bottom line. You're probably twenty to twenty five thousand dollars to run competitively. If you could somehow get it, if you had a thirty thousand dollar budget to run the year, I think you're probably you're gonna be all right. Yeah. And then you hope hope you can win back three, four, five thousand dollars in prize money, and then hopefully you can get up some good sponsor money and. So, that's a little bit about uh, the cost of racing. And then... Specifically, uh, super stock specific, in Ontario. An <laughs> Ontario super stock, yeah. Yeah. We don't race a late model. No. I'd imagine that builds a lot more. Yeah. Especially if you're running the APC I don't tour. Think, yeah, I don't think the operating cost to run a late model weekly at Delaware would be much different. Yeah. We run our program like it's a late model. But when you hit something in a late model, it's a lot more. That's yeah. the difference. Yeah. That's where we're at. We're going to play with our new toys now. Um, if you ever have any questions, we're pretty transparent. We just, you know. We try to answer all the comments on the blog. Yeah, anything. You, If I can't answer, I'll tell you I can't answer because it's a secret. We don't have any secrets, but no, I'm not going to stick the camera in the front suspension. But we're pretty transparent. We've kind of explained what this car is, and we've kind of explained um, what we do, and that's that's what it takes to run it, so. I hope it's okay that we post this video. I really, it's it's by far our most, most asked, most requested video. Is to, what does it cost to do that? I just think a fan sitting in a crowd doesn't understand what goes into it. No, I I didn't. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You see, woo, they, that, that's not a knock on fans. No, I just I just no. I don't think people would even come close to expecting that your tire bill for the year is seven thousand dollars. No. <laughs> no. And. They don't, they don't, like an average fan doesn't need to know. No. As long as the car shows up every week and we put on a good show, they're That's, happy. Yeah, exactly. We're the ones on the stupid side of the fence. Yeah. Um, Holy Knights of Columbus, it's hot out. Name that movie. Anchorman. Doesn't say it's hot out, but yeah, Anchorman. <laughs> All right. It's like midnight, and we've had enough for tonight. We've been learning, we've been playing, we've been playing with our new toys, and uh, we've learned a lot. We found something in the car that we can blame the last couple of weeks on. I'm not going to say what it was. Sure, I'll say what it was. It's not like it's a secret. We have no secrets here. We just went over this. Yeah. Uh, it turns out our one of our rear springs was bent and weak. But not the good kind. No. Not sometimes things bend right. That wasn't bend right. No. Shame on us for not finding it sooner. We we'll, fixed it. Well, we'll let you know in the next vlog at the end of next race if we can blame it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we found something that wasn't right. We'll go with that. <laughs> All right. Who wants a t-shirt? You want a t-shirt? Yeah, you got a t-shirt. I got a t-shirt. I'll take another one. All right. All you gotta do: comment on this video. I don't care what you comment, as long as it's not mean. Don't be mean. Comment. Let us know. What you think of our video, comment, let us know when you think we're finally going to win our first Super Stock feature, comment, and just say, hey, I want a t-shirt. That's all you got to do. Just say done. Just say done. I don't care. Comment on this video. Make sure you subscribe. Like the video for us. And we'll pick someone just randomly. You'll get a t-shirt. I think we've got all of our sizes left except for maybe small. Yeah. But we'll figure it out. We'll get you a t-shirt. That's all you got to do. Um...
What else was I going to say? I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, let us know what you thought of this video because it was a little different. Right. We were just talking about that no more than 30 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> comment. See, this is here we go with the comment. For all your chance to win a t-shirt, comment and let us know what you thought of this video. It was a little different. You know, we didn't show us working on cars. Holy, I'm excited with the water. We didn't show us, you know, working on anything really. It wasn't a race day vlog, but it was something about our race team and how it works. So we thought that was different. We've had this idea for a little while, and then, you know, I'm not saying we came up with it before, like, landed or anything, because he did the video. It, I think where we got the idea was from people asking him on his YouTube channel, what's it cost to race? And then, you know, people stopping us at the track saying, what's it, you know, what's it actually cost? How much does it cost to enter a race? Um, so that's... Let us know what you think of this video. I, we got nothing to hide. I, you know, racing's expensive. It, you know, it is what it is. So, um, let us if, know what you think. If you didn't know racing's expensive and you just watched this whole video, now you do. Now you do. <laughs> um, yeah, so just comment. If you comment and let us know what you think, uh, you're entered for a cheese, chance to win a t shirt. And a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. <laughs> Did you just start saying cheeseburger? <laughs> cheeseburger. Let's go for a cheeseburger. Midnight snack. Huh? All right, comment, let us know what you think. We'll give away a t-shirt. And uh, I think we're making progress. we got to get this car back the way it was at the start of the season. So thank you, everybody, for your support. And uh, go check out jrdmotorsports.ca for everything JRD Motorsports. Make sure you like all of our other social media channels. And, of course, like I've said 52 times in this video, hit that subscribe button for us.